Hello and welcome to another edition of Guinea Pigs with Greg. This video we're going to look at how I pair up uh, and breed uh, our self goldens. So it's quite an important thing to breed your guinea pigs. It keeps the stud going and it's the way that you improve uh, the attributes that you, you want to see on the show bench. Um, in the background we've got lots of pictures of uh, the babies that my viewers have produced um, and you can also uh, add your own uh, at the Facebook group uh, Guinea Pigs with Greg. You can apply these uh, principles that I do whilst looking at the goldens to any uh, smooth haired breed and you can uh, hopefully get a little insight into, into the process that I go through when pairing up um, my guinea pigs. And I take a lot of time doing this and I do this every single time. Um, I usually have uh, other breeders inputs and uh, it works well. So I've selected uh, four adult breeding boars, um, three of which are proven and uh, one aren't. They've all got different attributes that uh, I like and that I'd like to pass on to the uh, youngsters within the stud. So the key now is to uh, choose the right size for these boars. And we do this by making sure we don't double fault. And by double fault, I mean we don't pair bad ears with bad ears, small heads with small heads. We try and counterbalance the faults uh, whilst keeping the attributes that we like the same. So we'll try and use strong colour throughout. A bold eye and good size. Uh, these are things that we want to see throughout the stud. Pulled out some of the young pretenders to the throne, some of my backup boars. Um, these are all less than six months old and they're pigs that... I may look at using if some of the, the other boars don't have the attributes that we require. But in essence, they're there just in case something uh, doesn't match. Uh, they're very useful pigs. They may get, have a bit of a show career first. So this is Saxon. He's been my most successful show boar to date. Uh, he won the Real London Championship show. So we're looking to use him with uh, two or three saves to pass these genes on. Uh, he's the biggest pig in the shed, weighing at just under five pound now. Um, and he's got a huge head, a very long head. Um, the colour goes right down to the skin and he's got a lovely fine coat, uh, big shoulder. Now the, the faults on him that I personally uh, would like to see improved are the ears. I'd like just a tiny bit of a bigger, flatter ear. Um, but other than that, I think he's very good. He's got good width between uh, the eyes across the top of the head, a nice dome shape. Um, and as I said, the ears are at a nice angle very showy ears, um, which is what I like. You can see his bottom lips dropped, which makes him look like he's uh, blowing a kiss almost. Um, but he's got great width across the muzzle and a very rectangular shaped head. So one of the sides we're looking at using with him, um, he's got a very short face. So the opposite type of face to, to, the, to the head that he's got. Um, this side is very rounded, whereas the, uh, the boar is quite oblong. So we're trying to pair this off to, um, to, to retain a similar shaped head to the boar or the side, or somewhere in between. Um, the head again on this side is very balanced and she's very wide across the jowl. So we, we like this pairing. Her colour is slightly stronger, um, which is good. Um, a very rich colour, and again, plenty of shoulder. We've selected another typey sow, um, but this sow has uh, better ears. Again, a lovely rich under colour. Um, not quite as good as the boars, if I'm honest, so the boar will help correct this. Um, but this lovely type, to the bigger head, taller head of the boar, should produce a nice even mix of youngsters. Um, I quite like this sow, um, she has been a shaved sow, is an under five, um, but now it's time for her to be used in the breeding pen. Um, and I think she's just got a little bit of presence about her, which should marry up with, with the boar. Um, they've both got good eyes and they've both got good stature. And since it's our best boar, I found a third sow for him. Um, again, a very typey sow, the much richer colour, one of the richest coloured pigs that I have. You can see how fiery that under colour is. Um, again, very typey and big shoulder and very wide across the muzzle. Um, she's not as wide across the top of the head um, as the boar, so hopefully he will be able to fix that. Um, she's got good size, he's got good size, so we're hopefully going to improve the general size of all the babies. And as you can see, here they are together. The boar is uh, the third in to the right and he's quite a big pig but all the other sows are very cobby and very short and blunt faced very good type so hopefully pairing with this boar should produce us more of the same whilst increasing the size um, and as you can see he's actually the lightest pig out of the three so the baby's color should improve the next boar we're going to use is norman again uh, a very big pig uh, four and a half pound in weight a very rich color one of my richer color boars 
um, extremely uh, good shoulder and excellent jowl. His face uh, merges into his shoulder, uh, giving a very sweeping appearance. As you see from the side, he's got very good type and a very broad Roman nose. Beautiful bold eyes uh, and well balanced ears. To be critical, I'd like them a tiny bit bigger, but his under colour is very fiery. And this is something I do want to pass on to my youngsters. I think colour is very important to retain whilst uh, not losing sight of body shape and type and coat qualities. Um, he's got very good coat qualities. He, he's very good across the top of the head, but he's got a very tall head. So you should find some good size for him. So this side we found uh, has quite a small head uh, in comparison to the boar, um, and it's very round and typey. She's got decent shoulder, but this is something that could be improved by uh, using this boar. Um, and as you can see, her undercolour is slightly lighter on the hip. You can see it just coming through. So hopefully this boar will uh, improve the undercolour on this side. They've got very similar ears, so hopefully we won't lose anything on the ears, and the eyes both seem very bold. She's got very good width of jowl, the same as the boar. So these are attributes that we're hoping to retain in the babies, whilst making some minor improvements. This sounds slightly lighter in colour um, than the boar, so hopefully the boar will uh, help assist in uh, improving the colour. Uh, she's got much better ears than, than the boar, than Norman, so uh, hopefully this will balance out nicely. The boar's got a much wider head across the top and across the jowl, um, and this is just a well-balanced breeding, so a bit longer in head, so we're hoping that the boar will increase the size on the youngsters as well as improving uh, the coat qualities. As you see, this side's got lovely undercolour and a great body shape. Um, I think if I grew her on, she'd be a very big pig, um, but she's just so valuable in the breeding pen right now, especially with Norman the boar. Here you can see the trio together. Um, as I said, the lighter side is on the right, a good colour side on the left, but Norman is absolutely fiery rich in colour. Um, it's almost the perfect colour for me. It's not too dark, it's not brassy, um, and it should make a very good pairing. Benbridge is a, a young adult. Uh, he's got a very uh, feminine head uh, with lots of width. It's a very well balanced head. Again, the ear is slightly shorter and it's quite a tall head. Um, but I find the slightly shorter ear on the boars give a much more glamorous appearance. He's got a lovely shoulder. Very nice colour, not as rich as Norman, but he's got uh, some, some, some good colour and some good heritage to him. I would like a bolder eye on him if I'm really, really critical, um, but he stands well. And if, if I can echo this uh, throughout the stud, I'd be more than happy. You can see the undercolour is very fiery and rich, which is where we want to be. We don't want any lightness of colour in our boars at all. Um, and he's, he's a very well paved pig. Uh, this is a, a proven say for me. She's done well for me in the past. Um, she has been a show pig as well. Um, very short ears, very short face, um, slightly lighter under colour. Um, but I, I think she's uh, a lovely pig. And paired to this boar with such a huge head, we could get some, some, some good gains here. We could uh, improve muzzle, we could improve head size, we could improve ear size. Um, she's just got too many good qualities to not use in the breeding pen. We have a young maiden, so slightly lighter in colour, but again, a very uh, short head. Um, the ears are, are slightly shorter than I would like, um, but hopefully this boar uh, will help improve that. Um, I like the shoulder on this pig. The undercolour is a, a tiny bit lighter, if I'm very critical, um, which you have to be when assessing your, your, your breeding pigs. Uh, she stands very well, and I'm hopeful that she will make a, a, a good mother and, and be very... Uh, well received within the stud, um, especially when paired to Benbridge. See them together, you can see that he has got much more width and stronger colour, um, and then much more ear and balanced head than the sows. So when paired together, we're hoping that this will come out in the youngsters whilst retaining the sows' beautiful glamour and their nice posture. Um, they all have good body shape and they stand very well. So we're going to use a, an, an unproven boar. Um, his father, Benbridge, uh, is uh, the boar in the previous uh, clip. And uh, this is Benbridge Scholar, uh, one of my show boars. He's only 10 months old. Um, he's got very fiery colour and a lovely uh, dome across the top of the head. A, a very feminine look to him uh, compared to the other boars. Lovely compact body shape and well-balanced ears. And the pigment on this pig is very nice. Um, and I find the other undercolour is very fiery. 
So these are all good attributes that we want to pass on. So I'm taking a small risk, but it's, a, it's an educated risk uh, by using this board to two sows. And the two sows we're using are two very plain sows, very tall headed pigs um, with large drooping ears and bold eyes. They're a tiny bit pinched towards the top of the head, which you tend to get in smaller uh, headed, um, plainer headed pigs. And it's not got quite as much width as the boar. So these are good things that we're pairing off against each other. We're not pairing two of the same fault together. She's got very sound colour. Um, the pigment's slightly darker than I would usually like. Um, and this is something you have to watch uh, in your goldens. And this is the litter sister to the previous sow. Um, again, another very similar typed head. Um, nice ears, slightly darker in pigment, rich colour, but a very tall head again. Um, slightly narrower than you would want for a show pig. Um, slightly light on the undercolour on the hips again, but these are things that the boar will correct, uh, hopefully. Um, the undercolour is by no means bad, and no one would ever say that, but it's something that I, I personally think I could improve on uh, with this pairing. Um, but yeah, she stands well, and fingers crossed, uh, an unproven boar with two maiden sows, it could go well. Um, but you can see the richness of colour in the boar here, and the ear carriage should work well with both. The bold eye of the boar should offset the smaller eye of the sows, and that width should uh, shine through and make some very large babies, hopefully. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, and we'll all be good. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I pair up uh, my goldens. Um, it's a very simple process, and you can replicate this uh, with any breed uh, that you like. Uh, and maybe in six months time, once the babies are born and weaned, we can reassess and see how these pairings went. Uh, for now, I'm Guinea Pig Greg, and I'll see you in the next video.